Yo, what's up? It's your boy Robbie Ear Parts, and today we're gonna do a little install video on the WRX. I know you guys have probably seen hundreds. I know there's hundreds of videos of this for the Perrin uh, shifter stop, but I don't really care. I feel like doing one just because it's my car, it's my channel. You guys want to watch it? I love it. So let's get into it. Um, it's a real simple piece. I'm gonna show you the parts that are gonna have to be installed, and we'll see from there. All right, so here's the parent shifter stop for the 2015 and up WRX. It's a nice piece, feels well constructed, comes in black only. I noticed there are some other brands out there that have a similar look, um, like the Cart Boy, and there was another one. Uh, the Cart Boy I know of was made of plastic though, and had didn't have this angle on here, which I've been doing some research, and I, I really like the angle that Perrin in, um, incorporated on the shifter stop. And just to, the fact that it's aluminum, I guess you don't have to worry about plastic breaking if, if you are shifting hard. I mean, I don't know how you could break it, but I guess just uh, for peace of mind. And it, they do include two washers, seven millimeter, that go on the shifter uh, base, I guess you want to say, um, to help it uh, stop from flexing. Uh, two of the Allen bolts to install the stop. They include the key, and what you're going to need is a ratchet and you're gonna need an extended 10 millimeter socket because you have to get down into the shifter. And then you're gonna need a uh, seven millimeter open-ended wrench to get to the bolts uh, on the shifter. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, so to get started, we're pretty much just gonna pull up the plastic right here. You're just gonna pull straight up. It's not that hard. You gotta do the knob. Duh. Okay, once you get the cover off, you're gonna have two 10 millimeter bolts right here on the top and bottom of the fifth and sixth gear shifter stop. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in fifth gear and then you're gonna go ahead and take these two off. Get all the goop on your hand. And don't drop the bolt like that. <clears throat> okay, so once you got the two 10 millimeter bolts out, it's in fifth gear, remember. Go ahead and get the pair and shifter stop and set it over top of the fifth and gift of the fifth and sixth gear shifter stop. And then you're gonna use the supplied Allen bolts that came with it with the key, and you're gonna reinstall them into the bolt holes that were there for the 10 millimeter. And you're only gonna do it hand tight. You're not gonna tighten them down all the way right now because we still have to adjust uh, the spacing between the shifter. So this is just to get them in there and lined up so it, they won't be moving around. Okay, now once you have this shifter stop in there, the parent one, and you have the two 10 millimeter bolts, pretty much just hand tight, you can move it around. You're gonna place it in fifth gear, or it already should be in fifth gear. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna move it a little quarter inch, not even a quarter inch, I'm sorry, an eighth of an inch to the right, just to give it that little bit of play. I'll show you again. You just go like that, and push the parent one all the way left, and then just to give a little play, that's it. That's just, just to keep it a little wiggle so you can get it out of gear and stuff, but you don't want too much because that's why that is there. So let's go ahead and uh, get it out of here, out of fifth, carefully. Don't touch the, that shifter stop. So we're in neutral right now, and now we're gonna go into first. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna push the parent shifter stop all the way against the shifter. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing like I did in fifth, and I'm just gonna go a little left. Just a little left. It just has a little gap in there. So now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna tighten those 10 millimeter bolts back down. So now just make sure you can get in all the gears. So there's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. 
Nice. So now we're gonna go after these seven millimeter. I have a feeling I should have taken off this outer part to do this. I'm, I don't know if you even know if I wanna do this. It might be a pain in the ass uh, to do it like this. Got it. Got the other one, yay! All right, now you're gonna put the washers back on. Or, I'm sorry, back on, but you're gonna use the supplied washers that Parent gave you. Okay, I got everything buttoned up. And just as a heads up, I don't care what anybody says, it would be a lot easier to take this plastic trim, you know, this whole piece out. Um, those seven millimeter bolts are a fucking pain in the ass. I mean, <sighs> That took me longer than the whole damn install of getting frustrated. It was just a pain. So just a heads up, you guys. If you got big fingers and you're a bigger guy, that is just going to be a freaking pain. Yes, take off all this plastic or else you're just going to get a big headache or lose something down there. So hope that helps. Uh, let's uh, finish this up and then uh, let's go for a test drive. All right, guys, so we're going for the first drive with the parent shifter stop. Uh, it's been about an hour. Um, went inside and ate some real quick. And I actually changed the mount to a GoPro, so we're going to see uh, if you guys like it better. If um, it, it's not, It shouldn't shake around like the other mount does. So I'm hoping we get a little bit better picture quality on this bad boy. So, yeah, let's see how this thing feels. Um, just you know messing around the driveway it definitely feels a lot tighter in each gear yeah there's definitely not a lot of movement in when it's in each gear just a, a little bit of wiggle I guess it, it, again you can make it as tight or as loose as you want I just know I didn't want it too tight where there was no movement I particularly like them. I don't know. I'm, a, I'm the type of guy that kind of wiggles it around a little bit. I'll oh, see in third. It's way tight. I like that. second I think because I left the parent a little bit open it I, I think I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit more but it does feel really good but definitely third fourth and fifth feel way better they're nice and tight not a lot of movement while it's in the gear now this doesn't shorten the throw so just so people understand that it's not gonna shorten the throw of the shifter it's just going to make it feel less sloppy while it's in each gear. You're not going to have the left to right wiggle. So that was a real simple in install. I would put that on, on the top of the list um, for upgrades. That would be some great information for me. See, it just did it right there. So, yeah, uh, again, another real simple install. I appreciate you guys watching the videos, um, trying to think of new stuff and just kind of, you know, different angle on things for you guys. I know there's other videos doing the exact same thing, and I appreciate you guys watching mine. Um, I just like to give my own little touch to it. And, uh, again, this is Robbie, your parts. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Smash that thumbs up. Uh, Smash that thumbs up button and uh, subscribe if you want to see some more videos. I appreciate it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.